Milwaukee police officers, Philip Ferguson and Jose Ramirez. Just yes, Sorrento, just Sorrento. Are part of the robbery task force. It definitely can be dangerous. Hey, the kids are we look for suspects who chase cars. Mm -hmm. That are taken in robberies. It's proactive. I like to be proactive. These men have some of the most dangerous jobs in the city. They know exactly what they're looking for. They know exactly who they're looking for. And they know exactly where to go to find it. MPD started the robbery task force one year ago. This daily meeting is where the officers find out who they're looking for during their shift. We recruited a group of highly motivated officers and highly motivated supervisors and put them to work on it. And uh, they've made some amazing progress. In 2015, the city of Milwaukee had 512 carjackings. In 2016, the first year of the task force, that number dropped to 464. That's down about 9%. We didn't see the number of carjackings go down as much as we had hoped, but uh, an almost 10% reduction is something to be proud of. What do you want to see? 20, 20 to 25% ideally. I accept full responsibility for, for my action. Avon Kidler is the kind of brazen teenager the task force targets. A judge sentenced him to prison for carjacking a mother at gunpoint and leaving her baby on the curb. He tore off with me holding on to the car door. The pursuits that our officers get in are concerning because the way these carjackers drive, we haven't seen this level of carelessness in a pursuit driving by suspects since I've been on the department in over 20 years. These young juveniles committing these crimes, they don't understand the seriousness of them and how much trouble they can actually get in. They feel like they're untouchable almost. Do you feel safe here in Milwaukee? I do. I live in Milwaukee. I've lived in Milwaukee all my life. I don't plan on moving out of Milwaukee. What I know isn't what you know. Uh, so uh, knowing that, I do feel safe here. You see kind of firsthand, you meet a lot of victims of robberies and it's a bad time in their life that they go through. And uh, I felt like joining this unit, I would be actually out there and trying to deteriorate or at least catch the culprits. We might figure something out on our end and then slowly connect the dots at that point. So that's how a lot of these crimes end up getting solved.